Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and being a Texan, we're always pretty sure Texans do things better than other states. And when it comes to braggadocious topics, hunting is right up there. Take deer season, for example. It's a business that brings in a billion dollars a year to the Lone Star State. And for one gas station down in South Texas, it's been building their business since 1955. <laughs> As the sun dawns on a new day during deer season in South Texas, the long shadows of the winter solstice make finding that big buck in the brush that much more difficult. For some hunters, this experience is about getting away and taking refuge from the wintry temps in a blind that's out of sight from everyone else. Because just being out here is beautiful. It's an addiction, man. <laughs> I mean, it's South Texas when hunting season comes, they'll drive all night long from God knows where. Kenneth Sharber runs the Muy Grande Village in Freer. Situated smack dab between Corpus and Laredo, this specialized store is sort of like a gas station, convenience store, restaurant, feed store, and sporting goods shop all rolled into one. This business was started by Kenneth's father-in-law, Lionel R. Garza, in 1965. And in order to promote his business, Lionel started a deer hunting contest at his Center Circle gas station. People started making fun of him and calling it the, the, the gas station deer contest and you know that kind of stuff. And, and Garza kind of got a little perturbed about that and he didn't like that. And so he came up with the name Muy Grande. That name has stuck for 56 years. Now the Muy Grande is just as big as it sounds, attracting thousands of hunters each year to participate in a hunting contest that's got a massive reputation. It's as big as Texas, and it's as wide as the Rio Grande. So this right here is our, our leaderboard. Whoa! Back in 1965, Homer Garza won the first contest that was only dedicated to the deer with the largest spread. His prize? Lionel's old watch. He had won a, a, a wristwatch for selling tires and he gave Homer the wristwatch. That was the first prize that was given. Does the winner still get a watch? Uh, no, sir. The winners now, we get jackets and trophies and plaques, and, and we have a, a really nice award ceremony. Sounds like the Masters. <laughs> the Muy Grande is the Masters when it comes to this sort of competition. The oldest contest of its kind in the world, prizes are awarded for all sorts of crazy categories. Men's, women's, kids, boys, girls, youth division. We got out of state. We got Mexico. We've tried to accommodate every hunter to give everybody a fair chance. And they, everybody gets competitive. It's, it's, it's fun. So when you're Muy Grande all around, as you can see, like I said, we've got the weight, the spread, the points, the left circumference, right circumference. And we add all that together, and that gives you the Muy Grande score. Those are unreal deer. I mean, I have the, the, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chloe's deer is like, the head is as big as her. Yes, sir. Uh, wow. Yeah. Beckett shot a deer bigger than I've seen, and he's, oh, what is it, five? <laughs> yeah, he's a young guy. He, he, he's a little older now. I think he's about six, six <laughs> something. So, you get, well, what's, what's a couple days, right? Good for him. There's even a husband and wife team category. If you hunt together, you stay together. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And a contest for the top story. Not like that could be subjective or anything. Top story of the year, we're looking for the most interesting thing that's happened this year. Could uh, be some Texas tales yeah, in that yeah. category. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> there, there, there might be a little bit. We we got a little margin there for, for fluff. You know? <laughs> How do you know if you should enter the 190 Club or the Muy Grande All-Around Division? Well, the good part about our contest is, is when you enter the $25 entry fee before you kill the animal, it puts you in every category here. Okay. So when you bring your animal, it's up to us. We take a look and see where it'll fit, which keeps it exciting. Keeps the phone ringing. This contest in this little Texas town has drawn hunters from every corner of the country and even a few well-known country stars. I don't think George Strait has ever taken a more Texan photo. And by the way, King George won this competition back in the 80s. Was that a, hey, George Strait won? <laughs> no, uh, he, he, he legitimately won. Well, what's your favorite part about doing this contest? The kids. Yeah, because you get to see them grow up. You get to see them, you get to see them bring in their animal and, and and they got that first experience, so it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Even if hunting isn't your thing, just seeing the sun's long shadows across South Texas makes this trip something everyone needs to experience before they kick the bucket. If you have the opportunity, take it. And I've had people say, well, I don't like to, I don't like to shoot. That's cool, go sit in the blind. Go sit out there for a minute and turn your cell phone off and listen to the birds, listen to the wildlife, watch the sun rise, watch the sun set, and you'll understand it. You'll understand how the addiction comes. 